Hello, Stefan here with Liquidity with a video about the question of why learn German, especially since so many German speakers know English pretty well. Liquidity. To answer this question and maybe to also explain why I bother asking this question in the first place, let me tell you a little bit about myself. So I was born and raised in Germany. I'm a native German speaker. I went to German schools when I was growing up. I even completed my military service in the German military when we still had a military, mandatory military service back in 1991. But for the last 30 years, I have lived in the United States, mostly in Western Pennsylvania, not far from Pittsburgh. And among many other things, I have taught some German. And one of the big questions that have come up when people talk to me about learning German is, why learn German? And German is not a global language like Spanish or English or Arabic and a few other languages. That being said, you may be surprised to come across people who speak German fairly fluently almost all over the world. But that's not the reason why to learn German, because those people also usually speak several other languages. I can think of one reason that some people may have to learn German, which is not really a good reason at all, and that is if you have some sort of Nazi fetish. So if your intention is to share your adoration for the Nazi crime cartel that destroyed much of Europe back in the 1930s and 1940s, and you want to share that with German speakers, you will most likely be met with scorn. So don't bother. My first reason is for those who don't mind learning at least some basics of a language. So being able to greet people in their native language, being able to ask politely if they do speak English, leaves a really nice first impression, not just in a German-speaking country, but anywhere in the world. So if you are a world traveler and you go to a place that you really like to get to know, make an effort, know at least a little bit of that language. And that's also true for German. It's just polite. Don't assume everybody just speaks English. It's kind of crude. If you ever decide to live in a German-speaking part of Europe, especially Europe, there's some other areas in the world where there's some native German speakers, but I'm going to leave those out. Maybe that's another good video, right? So if you want to live in a German speaking part of Europe, mostly Germany and Austria, but there are a few other ones as well, you will tremendously benefit from knowing German just to participate in everyday aspects of life. Uh, to really get to know the society and to be able to really be part of that society. My third reason is that if you work for a German company, being able to fluently communicate with your German-speaking colleagues really raises your relationship with them to another level, being able to connect and tap into things, emotions, beliefs, information that otherwise would be lost to you. The most important reason to learn German, and that's only for people who are really interested in that sort of thing, is to really genuinely get to know Germans, to understand what German-speaking cultures and societies are really about, what it feels like to be part of that society. Much of what is being communicated with German cannot be translated very well into English. There's a surprisingly high level of information that is lost in translation. And that's especially true from translating from German into English, more so than even translating from English into German. Fluency in German grants you an opportunity to really become part of that society, to really gain an appreciation for what it means to be part of that German-speaking society. German is spoken by about 100 million people as a native language, as a first language, and an estimated 30 million 
people who speak it as an additional language. Many people who work in Germany, especially in the service sector, but also many other sectors, are not native German speakers, but they speak German fluently. They speak multiple languages, sometimes three, four, five different languages. There are millions of people who speak German as an additional language, especially in Europe. There are many, many, many people who have professional affiliations, associations, or just business dealings either in Germany, Austria, Switzerland, other German-speaking areas in Europe, or with German speakers in general. Even though Germany is a relatively small country, it is nevertheless the fourth largest economy in the world. And that's not counting other German-speaking areas or countries like Austria and the German-speaking part of Switzerland, which also do very well for themselves. Germany and Austria, and to some extent even Switzerland, are very popular places to pursue higher education or vocational training. There are probably hundreds of thousands of people who have either studied or trained in a German-speaking country in the German medium, who are fluent in German, who live all over the world now. So way the pros and the cons of learning German. It's not an easy language to learn, especially that initial grammar hump. Once you get over that, it gets a lot easier, but it's not an easy language to learn. However, being part of a German society today is so much less about what you look like and where your ancestors come from and so much more about how well you are able to communicate in the language and tap into what it feels like to be a German or an Austrian or part of that society. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was interesting and helpful. Please leave your comments and questions below. I would love to get a like from you if you enjoyed this video and uh, check out my other videos. If there's something else you like, maybe you even want to subscribe to my channel. Bye. Cheers.